Hey there YouTube, in this week's episode I want to demystify the difference between hard drive, storage and memory, RAM. Which one does what? Among the ordinary non-technical people that I talk to, there's quite a bit of confusion about the memory, RAM and the hard disk, storage of computers. People often say things like, I'm running out of memory so I need to get rid of some photos. That mixes up the two components. I think part of the confusion here lies in the fact that both are measured in bytes, or his big brothers, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte. There's a couple of analogies that I like to use that you might find useful. Memory, RAM, is like the front part of your brain that you use for thinking, whereas storage, hard disk, is the remembering part of your brain up the back. Or, if you're in an exam, the RAM part would be the scribble pad that you get to take notes on whereas the storage part would be the actual exam answer booklet that you have to hand in. RAM or memory is made in banks of chips like this or like this where you can actually see the individual chips on the back and it's connected to the motherboard right beside the CPU to facilitate high-speed access between the two. The amount you have in your computer will dictate how complex some of the tasks you can do are and how many different things you can have open at any one time. As we spoke about a couple of weeks ago, most home and small business computers have between two and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Four gigs is on the low side, eight gigs is usually enough for most people, as long as you're not editing or playing high-end games. The RAM is actually cleared every time you turn off your computer. You can add more RAM to get things done faster by either adding in more or bigger chips as you can see from the episode linked above that we did a few weeks ago, episode 47. The storage on your computer is on drives like this, or like this, which are connected using a SATA cable that looks like this to the motherboard, and also there's a separate power cable like this that connects to the power supply. These are your C drive and maybe even D or E drives as well. It stores the operating system, Windows 10, some programs you have, things like Word, maybe Evernote, some games, that sort of thing, and also all of your documents, pictures, music, and videos. These days, they range in size from 120 gigabytes through to a whopping two terabytes. Now, a terabyte is a thousand gigabytes, to give you some idea of the difference. You can add a second or even a third disk to your computer. In fact, many people get quite a speed boost by putting in a new solid state hard drive and then reusing the old hard drive as a storage drive in their machine. We did that exact thing for Max in episode 48 linked above just last week. I hope that clears up the difference for you. At the Tech Doctor Network, our goal is to help you negotiate the technology maze. I invite you to click the subscribe logo down here to be notified when there's new videos or you might want to check out some videos you haven't seen before up here and down here. If you come to our Facebook page, we've created a new group where you can actually come and get some of your technical questions answered free of charge. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.